Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Sephora gratis haul. I got my gratis yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the picture, but I figured I would make a video anyway so I can show you. I looked up how much everything cost and if there was stuff about it I could share because a lot of it I know about and then some of it I don't, so here we go. Um, the first thing is something that I have on my face right now. It is the Urban Decay Naked Lip Gloss in Walk of Shame. It reminds me of the Buxom lip gloss in White Russian, but it's not as like milky looking. And then it also reminds me kind of, sort of, of NARS Turkish Delight, but again, like not as milky looking. But I, I like it. I'm not a huge gloss person, but I do like it. Um, and then also from Urban Decay, I got the um, Naked Skin Beauty Balm. Um, I didn't get a color, I don't think, because the original one only came in like one universal color and now they're like redoing them with extra colors. So this is the original. Um, I think I'll just use it like as a moisturizer. It doesn't have like any coverage at all. Um, it's just, it says DNA repair, optical blurring, and oil free. And I did not tell you the prices so far, um, but I mean it doesn't, I put it on my hand and I didn't see any difference at all. The um, BB cream is $34 and then the gloss is $20 I believe. Maybe. Sort of. Yeah. $20. So there you go. Next is something that I already got but I am happy to have another one of. It's the Benefit Professional Agent Zero Shine. I um bought one with my own money and then I saw that it was in gratis but I didn't get one and at the time and so one of my managers gave me hers because she was like I don't even need it I have dry skin I don't want it um so I got hers and then a month later the benefit um lady came back and she gave me one so now I have a backup I'm happy though because I really really like it and that one is um $30. So, uh, next is another, oh no, my battery's about to die. Another powder. It's Bumble and Bumble, the uh, Preta powder. It's like a dry shampoo. It has equal parts dry shampoo, style extender, and volume in a pinch. I was so excited to try this. I love dry shampoo. It runs for $26. Um, you get a good amount, and then it just has like a little squirt um, top. Like it's just one teensy tiny hole. I am so excited about it. I haven't tried it yet. Um, I would do it on camera, but I'm scared that it would make a mess, so we'll see. But I am so happy about that. Next is the Bosha Subaki Cleansing Oil Gel. Uh, I think they, like, mixed up mine with someone else's, but not that it matters. It's all the same one. Um, this I'm really excited about, too, because I love trying, like, makeup removers, especially, like, uh, cleansing oils, and this is a cleansing oil gel, so I think it'll be nice for my oily skin. And it runs for $28, so excited about that and I like the color pink so that makes me happy. I don't even think you can see. It's pink. Um, this one I couldn't find the price. I think it's because it's like something that they're getting rid of but it's the Soap and Glory Mist You Madly a flirty floral fragrant body spray. I'm not like a body spray kind of person. I'm a perfume person um, but I'll use it or give it to someone. Probably end up giving it to someone but um, it smells good, it's not like fantastic and it's not bad, but it's okay. Alright, so next up is the Dr. Brandt Dual Fusion Water. It's a cleanser and makeup remover. I honestly just found out about this um, the other day when I was helping a client who had heard about this. So we kind of like learned about it at the same time. And then I think that was the day I got my gratis. So whenever I like looked through my bag, I was like, oh, and I got it. Um, I think it's really similar to like the Sephora one. I haven't tried this one yet, um, which it's just like it feels and looks like water and you just put it on a cotton pad and clean it right off. So again, super excited to try it. I love uh, makeup removers, um, or at least I like trying them and then I hate when they don't work for me, but I'm always on the lookout for something that works. And this is $32 for this right here. Um, Next is something that I'm oddly excited about. It's the Vita Liberata uh, Tinted Self Tan Lotion. And um, 
I recently fell in love with a Saint Tropez tanning bronzing mousse, whatever. Um, and then I was thinking, like, am I really gonna pay money for this ever again? Like, I feel weird about it. So I am so glad that I got it in my gratis. Um, I haven't tried it yet. And it's a lotion instead of a mousse, which I really like the mousse, so I don't know how I'm going to feel about the lotion, but we will see. At least I don't have to spend the money on it when I feel so weird about being tan and tanning. Um, but this one is supposed to be really good. It's supposed to extend um, the time that it lasts, so I'm excited. This is this is like a, um, a half of the regular size. This is 2.54 ounces. The regular one is, I think it's like 6 ounces. Yeah, 6.76. .6. So it's about a third. Um, the regular size is 37.50, so it's like around $18 worth. Um, next I got the Professional um, Tiny Story. I hated this so, so much. Um, I used to put it all over my face and I did not like it. I don't think it helps prolong um, the wear of your foundation the way that some people say. Um, I mean, it's four pores, um, but as an all-over primer, I don't think it works. However, doing makeup on people and um, like actually seeing it close up and just using it on places where there are enlarged pores, I've kind of been seeing a difference on clients. So today I have it on and I just put it on like right over here and like while I'm looking at it in the mirror I like it looks good to me um I mind you I've had this face on since like nine o'clock in the morning and it is seven o'clock at night so um but I'm gonna give it a try at first when I saw it I was like yeah I'm giving this away but I'm gonna give it another shot and see how I like it so this one I think it's thirty dollars yeah which is weird it's only 0.75 ounces and usually items like this are an ounce but um, yeah, it's $30, and this is this is the full size. Um, next I got the Benefit Pika Bright Eyes Eye Illuminating Kit, and it comes with three shadows, an eye bright, and then two little brushes, and it's what I have on my eyes right now. Um, I used a uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze, and it comes with little instructions, um, and then I did the shadows on top. I like it. I don't love it so far, but I want to try it with... Um, a primer that doesn't have any tint um, to it so that it doesn't like change the color. Um, what I was really impressed with is the eye bright. Like I put it in the inner corner of my eye and it really works. It's just like a pink eye brightener, like a cream eye brightener. And that is $32. Um, next there's a few little things. I got this um, Ciate mini nail polish in Humbug. It's just like black and silver glitter. So I'll use that as like a top coat. This is the, oh, and that is um, $8. Um, a mini of the Kate Somerville Dilo Oil Restorative Treatment. This is supposed to be fantastic, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, this is um, 13 milliliters and the full size is, or no, it's 0.44 fluid ounces. The full size is one ounce and it's 65. So this is um, a little less than $30 worth, which is, that's a tiny little bit to be so expensive. So I'll try it and see how it works. Um, next I got minis of the Elizabeth and James Nirvana white and black. I already own the white. Now I'm really liking the black um, and you can layer them. So I'm excited and I like that it's little because I'm going to be able to carry it with me in my little school pouch bag thing. Um, each rollerball is $22 and they're .34 ounces. These little things are .24, so probably like $15 worth each. Um, and then last but not least, or almost last, um, a mini of the Benefit They're Real. This is smaller than the $10 mini that you can get, so it's probably only worth like $7. I love this mascara and um, I'm glad that I'm getting another mini because I don't think I will ever repurchase the full size unless someone gives me like a gift card. I just can't justify a $23 mascara when I love so many like five to seven dollar mascaras at the drugstore. Um, and then the very last thing I got is not sold so I can't look at the price and it is from Benefit. They generally give us these little um, bags whenever they have new things coming out. Um, they'll give us 
a little like bag I have another one um, and then like the main product that goes with it I actually look true to color for once next to the bag so I'm very tan and orange um, and then like a few of the mini things so I got the professional or the professional the poor professional agent to shine in the they're real to go into the bag and I'm glad I love getting makeup bags that way I don't have to buy my own so yeah makeup bags are always nice anyway so thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions I'm gonna try to do another like thoughts on hauls kinds of thing um, a little bit down the road which actually I think there are a few things that I, from my last Sephora Gratis haul that I haven't like touched base on so maybe I'll do like collective at the end of February ish time frame um, but yeah have a fantastic day like subscribe all of that's good stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye.